lot of people, a lot of people ask, okay, how, Justin, how do you work with elite athletes? Now I'm with NFL football players, major league baseball players, soldiers in the military often. And we have deliberate tools and strategies to help them with certain deficiencies in their game. So if there's a player or an athlete who may be struggling with focus, we'll do some exercises to help them with focus. If there's one who wants to get better at quieting his or her mind, then we do some exercises to help them quiet their mind. Now, what about you? You don't have a mental performance coach uh, with you every single day. You might not have the access to someone to help you walk, walk you through these skills and these techniques to help you quiet your mind. So what do you do? I would keep it as simple as possible. Simple, yet powerful. And it could start with a simple journal. One of the most important things that you, can, that you need to start doing is paying attention to yourself and catching yourself winning. So grab a journal or a sheet of paper or a notebook, and at the end of every game, or at the end of every practice session, or at the end of every workout, or at the end of every day, ask yourself three questions. Question number one, what was the best part about today? And as you ask yourself what the best part about today is, you are going to scan your mind for the positive things, because it's so easy to get negative. You're going to catch yourself winning the good things you did at practice, the good things you did in the game, because a lot of times, whether it be your coach or your parents or yourself, you can be really hard on yourself. So you're training yourself to find the good. Question number two, what did I learn today? What did I learn? What did you learn from your mistakes? What did you learn from your successes? What did you learn from other people's mistakes and their successes? And as you document and write down what you learned, then what you're going to do is you're going to be able to take those lessons and become a better version of yourself and use it to be better the next time. Because what happens a lot of time when people get frustrated or when they fail, they get too emotional and then they don't learn. You don't want that to happen to you. You really want to identify what did I learn? And question number three, what am I going to do better tomorrow? This gives you, puts you in the driver's seat. It helps you remember that you are in control of your performance. You are in, the, in control of how you show up to your practices, how you show up to the classroom, how you show up every single day. And it's, Setting a goal for yourself, this is how I'm going to be better tomorrow. And then the key is to keep your promises to yourself. So that's a simple strategy, a simple way to be able to learn how to be more positive, learn how to have a growth mindset and learn from your failures, and also to have accountability for your actions and to, goals, uh, and to set a goal for yourself for the next day.